हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ दीपक कुमार मिस्टी फ्रॉम मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल कुंती नगर नवादा भारत स्टूडेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू आवर ई लर्निंग क्लास व्हिच इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल नवादा स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर 3 of the class 8 that is our excel database is that clear the students the first two chapter we have already discussed one of the network yes or no one of the chart today class we will discuss the excel database we know very well excel means it is a database that means what do you to mean by Okay, so what do you mean by database? So student, database means it means collection of it means collection of of information collection of information collection of information which can be arranged which can be arranged in in row row and column format and column format can be arranged in row and column format that can be that can be easily that can be easily retrieved easily retrieved the data students see what are the database means collection of information which can be arranged in row and column format that can be write the data from database is that clear that means students database that means your class teacher is taking the attendance in individual classes of the individual class teacher that attendance register is also one type of the database okay that means from that database we can easily find out the each and every student, how many days are present and absent? Yes or no? For that, you can easily tell to your parents, your son or daughter have absent these days. Yes or no? That is your right. But from the attendance register, we cannot easily get the details of the student's information. We can only get the student's attendance ok students that means that is your word physical database that is your physical database means you take the register and keep the attendance ok student but that type of database one of the problem will be there we sometimes we want to correct modify update which is not possible in that physical database the attendance register is your database that is your physical database okay so we can what student we can take the data that we can retry but all type of information we cannot retry is that clear we cannot modify we cannot insert the data in between two records or in between two fields is that clear it is very difficult that means once you insert in between the field record again you have to create is that clear that, that is the problem that is called as a physical database is that clear students now come to this excel database is the source type of the database is a collection of the information in the rows and column format that can be easily retrieved that means we can easily modify we can easily insert in between the field or record this type of the things okay so that's why we prefer most of the field for the 
excel data okay students so students that means the information will be stored in the rows and column format that means you see this table okay students suppose i want to write the student name role okay students father's name mother's name okay is that clear the first student name is a role number 1 suppose ab this one is suppose a b c like this you see this one students that means it is a collection of the information that can be arranged in the what row and column format this can be right very easy i want to say tell me the information about the row number 1 of the class 5 class 6 or class 8 yes or no children we can easily get from the table that is your excel database is that clear enough students so students from the database we use the two terms is that clear two terms are used for the database one is your field another one is a student record one is a field another one is a record okay students that means what do we mean by field when the information stored in a column information information so in the information so in a column when the information so in a column of a table is called a information so in a column of a table is called as a field information information stored information stored in a row of a table of a table is called a table okay student so see here when the information stored in a column that means student name student roll number father's name mother's name This is called as this is called as a okay students that means suppose a b c two three d e e f g g h i i r this is that clear that means this one this one and this one are called as a That means when the information is stored in a row, it's called as a record. Information is stored in a field, it's called as a table. Information is stored in a column, it's called as a. Is that clear, student? So don't be confused this one. So students, the field, the in the field, and what is the question we make? Or what is the right the difference between field and record? The field, the information stored in a column. That means from the field. we can only the we can only the all the student only we can find the all the students name only students name of a class that is a field and when we get the one of the student to detail information of a student when we get the detail information of a particular student that is your what that means you see student name is a roll number 1 so this is the detailed information of the student a that means we can easily get the information so this is the record and this one only you can find the all the students name of a particular class only student name so this is your what is that clear so that is the difference between field and record is that clear to the students or any doubt if you not doubt so students here i will give you the definition okay now students we will discuss the very important part is your what sorting okay students you see this one 
Now students, we will discuss about sorting. Sorting means students what? You know very well. Sorting means arranging the data. Arranging, arranging the data in ascending or descending order is called as a sorting. And here also set. Now we start the word sorting. So students, sorting means what? What do you mean by sorting? to arrange to arrange the record to arrange the record in a to arrange the record in a particular way in the particular in the particular way to rearrange or arrange the record in a particular field in a particular field of a table of a table is called is called sorting is called sorting is called sorting rearrange the record in a particular field of a table is called as a sorting or you can also tell the answer arranging the data in an either ascending or descending sorting means to ascending or descending is that clear so this is our sorting so students when we insert the data in the database data are not arranged in a sequential Okay, student. That means when the user are inserting data are in the random way. But why we need the sorting to easily find out the data from the database? If you insert the data in random way, one, then five, then ten, then three, then four, then fifteen, twenty, one hundred, like this. If I want to tell, I want to get. It the detail information of the roll number ten, and data are not in the sequential order. And you give me the detail information. It will take time or not? It will take time because if the data are arranged in the sequential, it can be easy. Ah, uh, this one is a two. Easily can get yes or no. If it will be in the randomly, and one lakh one crore records are there, and I want to tell you. You give me the information out of one lakh, only one data. Please give me, then, which is very difficult to us to retrieve. Is that clear, our students? So to avoid this type of problem, we need sorting. Is that clear, our students? So that's why we are using the sorting. That means once the data is up. Huh. You can insert the data. Don't see whether the data are in ascending or descending or sorting or not. Don't be thinking in that type of work when you are inserting. Is that clear? After completing, after inserting the data, then you have to insert because we can easily retry. Is that clear, our students? So, students, now my point of view: how to sorting. Now I will discuss. How to sort the data in the database? Is that clear or not? How to sort the data in the database? We will we'll discuss that one. Okay, students. Now, students, to sorting the data in the database or Excel database, follow the some of the steps. So, the first step is your students. First of all, first of all, students select. Select the range of cells. Select the range of cells. First step. That means each individual square. The square, each square of this database is called as a cell. And intersection of the lower column is formed by cell. Okay. So select the range of cells. That means. In like this, select the cell so like this or like this. Half to one into that one. Okay, student. Then step two, students. Then click on sort option from sorting 
ऑप्शन कम सॉर्ट एंड फिल्टर ग्रुप फिल्टर ग्रुप फ्रॉम फ्रॉम डेटा That means the sorting option is available, sorting and filter group, and that group is available in which data they are. Remember this one. Is that clear or not? First of all, select the right option, then click on the sort option. Okay, student. After click on the sorting option, student, the three columns will be displayed. Okay. How? One is your students. One is your sort by. One is your sort on. Okay, students. Is that clear? Sort by, sort on. Is that clear? And another one is your students. That means you are arranging the data in ascending or descending order. Okay, students. Sort by, sort on, arrange. Okay, students. That means after click on the sort option. The three options will be displayed. Okay, students. That means in the sort by all the field name will be displayed. First of all, you select the cell. After select the cell, total the cells. Then in the sort by, so it is available or it will display all the field name of this table of this data. That means student name, roll number, father's name, mother's name. These field name will be. Display is that clear? That means you what you want to sorting using which field you select that one. You select the right one. According to the father's name you want to sort sorting. Yeah, according to mother's name. Yeah, according to roll number. Yeah, according to student name. How to sort it? You choose the field. Another thing, not only the single field you can sort. You can. Select more than one field also will be sorting. Is that clear or not, student? Is that clear or not? The student that's why in the sort that means in the cell three choose the choose the field name choose the field name from sort by from Sort by drop down list. I'm sorry, by drop down list. Okay, so then choose the field for which you can sort. Then step four. Then select. Then choose the value. Choose the value option. Choose the value. Option from from sort on from sort on sort by then sort on okay students then students five then choose the order that means what I I have I written here arranging or you also write the order you write also. Okay, students. You write also order. Then choose the order. Choose the choose the order from the order dot list. Is that clear, or not, students? Then students in the step six in the step six the third line that using one, two, three, four, five means using three, four, and five. Only one field you have only sorted. If you want to Sort more than one field. Then, if you want, then, then what you do? If you want, if you want, then click on add. Then click on add label button. Then click on add label button. Is that clear, or not, sir? Click on add label button. For what? Again, you. Select the same label or another field. Then click on the add label and repeat and repeat step and repeat step from 
3 to y. Is that clear? If it's step 3 to 5. After that, in the 7, then click. Okay, then click. Is that clear of the students? After this one, your table will be sorted. So that means what? Suppose you have written first rule number in the field, then student name. If you want to sorting the field, first of the roll, then student name. So first of the roll number, then the sorting. In this way, the data will be sorted and you can easily get the data from the database. Is that clear to the student? That means sorting means arranging the information, arranging the record in an ascending or descending order. That means we are in this order. Two options are there ascending or descending. Means A to Z or Z to A. You choose the option A to Z or Z to A. What you need? You choose the option, click on there, click OK button, then your data will be sorted in the database. Is that clear or student? The students in this way we can easily sort. If question will come, why we need the sorting in the database? Student, sorting is used or sorting is helped to the Excel database for the user that we can easily retrieve the data. Okay? We can easily retrieve the data, we can easily search the data, we can easily find out the data from the database. Is that clear? In the less time, it will take the less time to retrieve the data. Is that clear? So that is your, we can tell also that is the advantage of sorting also. Is that clear? Students, in the next class, we will discuss the filter. Okay? What do you mean by filter? What do you mean by custom filter? What do you mean by advanced filter? In the next class, we will discuss one by one. Is that clear? So students, today you will remember this kind of thing. The next, we will discuss the, what is the difference between sorting and filter. That's it. Thank you.